everyone, I'm going to do more tarot cards for you and this is going to be the last two cards in the ones group. <clears throat> so I do hope you enjoy. So this card is the Queen of Wands. See you sitting on the throne. Okay, and this is a description of the card. The dignified monarch sits on her throne. Indeed, her title is Queen of Thrones of Flame. She is mature and self-poised, but also an accessible and popular ruler. She holds a staff in her right hand and a sunflower in her left, the latter symbolising her affinity with the world of nature. Lions are engraved on the arms of her throne, reminding us of the connection with the ast astrological sign of Leo. A black cat, a symbol of power, and resent restraint is also visible in the foreground. <clears throat> now its interpretation is the Queen of Wands is an authoritative leader and her judgments are honourable and well considered. She is sensible, generous and helpful to her followers. If you draw this card you have a stable disposition and can act with both courage and authority. Your personal relationships are based on a nature understanding and you are both loyal and insightful. Although you are strict, you are also fair. Now it's reverse meaning, which is when you get the card this way. <clears throat> You're inclined to be narrow-minded, abstinent and domineering. There is also a clear chance of jealousy and deceit. Now there's a spiritual spiritual interpretation. Explore the source of your personal power and set your own limits. If you are a woman, you will feel secure <coughs> in your emotional needs. If you are a man, you are already in touch with the feminine aspects of your personality and recognize them as a source of inspiration. Sorry everyone. <coughs> Okay, so that was a bit on the Queen of Wands. Now the final card in the Wands section is the King. Now this is our final Wands card that I'm going to talk about. On this throne. Right. Okay, it's description. The King of Wands sits on his impressive throne, surveying his kingdom. Symbols of fire, salamanders and lions decorate the pillar behind him and a small salamander also sits on his left, on his feet. He has a staff in his right hand. Now all the, all the one cards are associated with the element of fire. Now its interpretation is, the king is a mature and respected leader, and he is both patient and generous by nature. This card is associated with sound business, acumen and wise judgment. As well as financial prosperity, in drawing this card, you clearly display strong leadership qualities. The success you have achieved in life has been well earned. Now, a traverse meaning, again, it's when it's drawn this way. You are inclined to be strict and intolerant and somewhat author authoritarian. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. In your relationships with others. You are easily drawn into arguments, you allow prejudices to show, and you may feel uneasy in your business transactions. Now there's a self-development lesson here too, and this is, it is important that you learn to explore and understand views that are different from your own. Seek to overcome any capacity for prejudice and cynicism, and learn from your mistakes. Stay open to the forces of spiritual interpretation. In sorry inspiration that provide you with a natural sense of dynamism and passion now guys i'm really sorry again i'm dyslexic so when i'm reading from my tarot book um i may read some of the words wrong so i'm going to apologize right out there so hope you've enjoyed the last of the one cards and hopefully i will be doing the next cards for you so blessed be everyone